Imagine cheering on the Super Eagles at the AFCON final. Your heart is palpitating. You now go back home and you discover that your AK-47 has developed legs. What will you do? How? So Inspector of the Year, Yusuf Samila, stationed at the esteemed Olu of Wari's Palace. He decided ah, he's going to watch the AFCON game, just like all of us. The question is, ah, how is this news now, Bonale? Tell us what's so important. Now, it wouldn't be news if he did not leave his gun unguarded in his room. How? Like, it's not even a Hunter Dane gun. It's not a homemade gun. It's not a Merek Merek gun. It is an AK-47 with rounds ammunition. Like, this is the kind of guns that they cause chaos and havoc. This is the weapon of choice for rebels, warlords, anybody. That wants to in america this is the gun of choice that a lot of those people use for school shootings so officer yusuf thought that he would leave his little package unattended why please i don't want to hear things like this and the crazy thing about it is a missing gun is not a newsworthy headline in nigeria and the dsp of delta right edafe swears it wasn't stolen okay it was just a bit of a misunderstanding and just like that the gun magically reappeared because you know guns have a thing for playing hide and seek okay if it did the ak-47 was burglared this only highlights the incompetence of policemen in nigeria and the truth about it is i understand people make mistakes human beings are going to be human beings that's fair but i also think we should be very very careful when it comes to things like this because that gun it could have disappeared and next to you know there's a random person walking around with an ak-47 the beginning of this tragedy starts with a gun in the wrong hands and that's it that's all we need now if you recall in 2019 the auditor general reported that 178,459 arms and ammo actually disappeared without a trace what until now like we just are thinking to ourselves nobody's been held accountable are those the guns that the kidnappers are using why were there no responses to our questions 178,000 guns that's a lot of guns to have disappeared without a trace now in 2022 the house of ref was investigating more missing firearms but you know really interestingly the anambra forces also recently discovered ak-47 guns that were stolen as far back as 2021 and 2023 this is actually not a laughing matter because i didn't realize until this new story came up that we have so many missing guns and i keep asking myself are these missing guns the guns that these terrorists and bandits and kidnappers are using to cause havoc on our country guns have registration numbers they can be traced they should trace them right in an ideal system they would be able to trace these guns and say if anyone ever used the gun or maybe when they catch a armed robber they catch a kidnapper they check their gun they see is it part of one of the guns that have been missing and i'm going to be assuming that that's what the anambra forces are hopefully doing because you cannot just be saying that you're losing a deadly weapon and it's okay you know we're grappling with insecurity and at this point like there's no room for error at all Oh, it's also noteworthy that Senator Ned, as I mentioned yesterday, is still pushing for, you know, civilians to be able to brandish their own firearms, which I completely do not support. Comment down below again. Let me know. Do you think Nigerians should have the right to bear arms? Maybe you're okay with it. Maybe you're not. Let's move on from that. Nigerians are not being nice and I don't like it. Alexi Wobi is the victim. Victim of what? Hmm. You've got to click on the next video to find out.